Hello today's video we have the following content. 5 new dramas in September, Huo Hao accounts for 2, Chen Zhaoyun and Ma Yangji are paired together, Tang Yan and Bailu's new drama is expected to be a hit. IQIYI platform turned over this summer through Tang Dynasty Strange Stories, Journey to the West, and new dramas continued throughout the summer. 9 Prosecutors, Lonely Boat, Boundless Future and other dramas are all well broadcast. Currently, Siphon Pavilion is on the air, and the list of pre-scheduled dramas in September has also been released. Nostalgia, Suspense, Emotion, Fairy Tales, etc. are all available, and the themes are very rich. Let's see which ones have the potential to be a hit. 1. Disaster Suspense Drama 21 Days. Starring, Huo Hao, Zhang Zuying, Zhang Wu, Wang Zhewen. As the new year approaches, Luo Bay Department Store, a long-established shopping mall in Hayes House City, suddenly sinks, trapping 13 people underground. When the rescue is about to succeed, the situation gradually goes out of control. This race between time and life brings many tests of humanity, morality and faith. This drama mainly tells the story of how everyone fights for limited survival resources in a limited time under such a specific disaster background. This kind of disaster drama has a limited audience. Although the cast is strong enough, it is still difficult to become popular. It is just that the quality of the drama will attract some viewers. 2. Contemporary Urban Drama Northward. Starring, Huo Hao, Bai Lu. Adapted from Su Zhechen's novel of the same name, it tells the story of a group of teenagers along the canal from knowing each other to accompanying each other, to separation, and reunion, showing their recognition of national culture and inheritance of national spirit. The young generation along the canal is rapidly growing into the backbone of all walks of life, and they use practical actions to give back to their hometown and society. Another drama starring Huo Hao. This drama is a boutique support project of the Jiangsu Provincial Radio and Television Bureau, and a key TV drama project of the State Administration of Radio, Film and Television, endorsed by CCTV. The director is Yaro Ziyata Fen, who has directed high-quality dramas such as The Wind Chaser, Tiger Mom and Kit Dad, and Pale Fire. The female lead is Bai Lu, a popular young actress with both popularity and strength. She has many hit dramas, so the expectations for this drama have been high since the filming began. Other actors includes Hei Zilu, Gao's Hiding, Hu Jun, Li Neiwen, Yu Yang, Ki Huan, Liu Weiwei, Tong Lei, Tu Ling, Wang Zuki, Serena and other powerful actors. The lineup is very strong and has a potential to be a hit. 3. Ancient Costume Fairy Drama Nian Wushirong. Starring, Liu Zuiyi, Tang Yan. Adapted from Shi Siling's novel The World's Unparalleled, it tells the story of how the goddess Wishuan came down to earth to assassinate the fox tribe's high priest Yuan Shang in order to retrieve the treasure of the gods, but Wishuan discovered that there was another hidden story. During the investigation, the two fell in love and worked together to save the world. Although the audience has become aesthetically fatigued with fairy dramas in recent years, it can be seen from the popularity of Traveling with the Phoenix that the audience is still very tolerant of fairy dramas. The appearance, CP sense and plot of the male and female protagonists still play a crucial role. Liu Zuiyi and Tang Yan in this drama are now very well known. Tang Yan has been in the industry for many years and has a large fan base. Although she has been silent for a while, she is successfully recovered through Fang Hu and Nis Wang. Liu Zuiyi has also worked hard and finally got his reward. Now he has been starring in many dramas, and his appearance and acting skills are excellent. In addition, there are actors such as Guo Ziyating, Wang Huanggai, Zhou Qiu, Zhang Li, Chen Chou, Zhang Ziyi, Bai Xu, Zhang Yuchen, etc., which makes this drama full of competitiveness. All the actors are good-looking, and they have won the stepping stone of ancient idol dramas, and they also have the potential to be a hit. 4. Military Love Drama White Olive Tree. Starring, Chen Zhaoyun, Liang Ji. Adapted from the novel of the same name written by J.I.U. Yuxi, it tells the story of Liang Cheng satellite TV female reporter Song Ran who was in danger when performing an interview mission in the turbulent East Country and was rescued by Li Zan, a Chinese blasting engineer who was a volunteer in the East Country. The same ideals and matching cells made the two slowly spark love. This drama is the second collaboration between Chen Zhaoyun and Liang Ji after the twins. From ancient idol dramas to modern idol dramas, they interpret past and present lives, which can satisfy the previous CP fans. I wonder if the combination of blasting engineers and female reporters is attractive to you? 5. 
Nostalgic Youth Drama Youth in the Wind. Starring, Sun Jin, Hazy Lu. It tells the story of the youth growth of oil field children in the 1990s. Two generations braved the wind and waves and sang a song of praise for small people in the great era of change. A typical youth drama, Chen Maya Omeo, played by Sun Jin, and her 16-year-old brother Chang Ye were born in the number one oil production plant of Linky Oil Field. Three generations of their family are oil field workers. The siblings started a chaotic high school career and were very worried. Their mother also had a headache, especially Maya Omeo took her childhood sweetheart Lisi, played by Zhe Lu, and her best friend Hu Kumin, intending to use the summer vacation of the first year of high school to start the adventure of going to Hong Kong to welcome the return, but it was not successful. The children are all welcoming growth in the changes. Sun Jin and Zhe Lu are not very famous, but their looks are beyond reproach. Sun Jin is known as the Northeast John Ji Hyun in the 95's Legs Elite. She has fair skin, beautiful face and long legs. Her looks are both youthful and recognizable. So, which one are you most looking forward to? Text Eugene Falling Star River, pictures from the internet, please contact us for deletion. Thank you for your comments and attention. Your likes and support are my greatest motivation. Thank you everyone. Next news. The Magnolia Awards ceremony was held. From the announcement of the list to the results, fans had experienced many expectations and made many guesses. The result finally came. Hu Jae and Jo Soon won the Best Actor and Best Actress Award twice. At the beginning of the award ceremony, the host CAO Kefin began to name many previous Best Actor and Best Actress Awards. Like Hu Jae, Jo Soon, Yan Yi and Song Jia. Unexpectedly, Hu Jae and Jo Soon won the top again. Hu Jae had won the Best Actor Award for Nirvana in Fire before. This time, he played Bae Oh's Ong in Flowers, an absolute male lead with good acting skills. The drama itself was also a big hit, and it was about Shanghai. Therefore, Hu Ji's second nomination was expected. But it was also a bit hard to accept. Because among the male lead nominees this time, Fan Wei had the highest voice. The long season was a big hit, and Fan Wei's acting skills in it were natural and everyone praised him. This time he lost to Hu Jia, maybe he lacked a bit of luck. Jo Soon had won the Best Actress Award for Red Sorghum before. This time she won the Best Actress Award again with The Imperfect Victim. Jo Soon is really amazing. Looking at the entire entertainment industry, she is one of the few actresses who is popular in TV dramas and movies, and has both Best Actress and Best Actress. This time she is not a hot candidate, the hot candidate is Tang Yan. But Jo Soon, who was watching the Fashion Week in Paris, France, immediately returned to China to attend the award ceremony, which makes people guess that this time the best actress is likely to be her. As expected, it is really her. It stands to reason that Jo Soon's acting skills, which are about to be deified, do not need an award to prove it. However, she has been ridiculed recently because of Ru Ie's royal love in the palace. Now she really needs this best actress award to restore her reputation. Tang Yan regretfully lost the election, and the 85 flowers breathed a sigh of relief. There are too many stories about the situation of the 85 flowers. These 85 flowers have been spinning around in ancient idol dramas and have caught up with the era of traffic. Therefore, they lack awards and acting skills. They didn't think it was a big deal when they were young, but now they are about to enter the 40th mark one by one, and new people are emerging. These 85 flowers are really anxious and are busy transforming one by one. Whoever gets the recognition of professional awards first can change the track and complete the ascension. The 85 flowers have always walked hand in hand. If one person ascends, the others will be anxious. Zhao Liang was nominated for Magnolia three times before, but unfortunately lost each time. The 85 flowers breathe a sigh of relief. This time Tang Yan is in a strong momentum. She has completely risen from the gatekeeper of the 85 flowers with the help of Fan Hua. She has almost been picking her feet at home. She has exploded. Business resources, fashion resources, and film and television resources have improved. She is from Shanghai, and her acting skills are good in Fan Hua. Even if she is given the best actress, netizens will not say anything. In fact, it is better to give it to Jo Soon than to Tang Yan. The main thing is that it can give some encouragement to young people and it is also more fresh. This time Tang Yan wore Armani's latest high-end battle robe and walked the red carpet with high spirits. I thought there would be a play, but it was not enough. However, the 85 flowers can breathe a sigh of relief. Fan Hua became the big winner. Fan Hua won several major awards this time, including Best Actor, 
Best Screenwriter, Adaptation, Best Photography, Best Art, Five Major Awards. From the front stage to the backstage, from the story to the performance, Flowers has been honed for 10 years, carving every frame of the image. After watching Flowers, people will gain knowledge, return to that golden age, and see the legends of the people of that era. Although Wong Kar Wai and other main creators did not come, it does not affect the fact that Flowers is the big winner. This time, the best director was given to Zin Shuang, who directed the long season. He deserves it. From the hidden corner to the long season, two high-scoring masterpieces, no one doubted his talent and made him deserved. The best variety show was given to Flowers 5, which is also well-deserved. Although this season is not popular, it is healing enough, which is also well-deserved. The results of this year's Magnolia Awards are out, and the results are somewhat expected. But some people are happy and some are sad. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,